How's life friends? My little Photoshop superheroes. <laughs> So today we are doing another tutorial that I promised to you because I always keep my promises And that's the artwork that we are actually going to create Well, it's just going to be in a different color, but it's still gonna be stunning and you're gonna learn a new technique that I haven't shown before you will learn how to actually create this kind of stretches, you know. And as you can see, lots of people loved it. It got over 1000 likes and tons of comments. This is amazing and stuff like that. And before we start the tutorial, just like always, I would like to remind you that you can go to learnfromfred.com and there you can access all of my premium classes that are actually paid but you can access them for free for a whole month like this artwork, this artwork, this animation and so much more and you can access everything for free for a whole month and I will put the link in the description of course with that said, let's get into our tutorial and just to remind you that I'm showing to you a recording of my art process and explaining you what I'm doing and why so first of all, of course I just had to import this image here as you can see it's a pretty amazing image and I was actually lucky to find image that fits my idea so well and you'll find the link to the image off as well of course next thing we need to do, we need actually to change the colors of the image and for that reason we actually go to filter and then we go to camera row filter this is the filter that I usually use to change the colors of my artwork I will show you the final changes that I did so you can actually also write these numbers into your own Photoshop and have the same colors that I have here. So as you can see these are the colors that I did. I added a little bit of orange and also a little bit of violet and as you can see it already looks nice. I also decreased the contrast because usually when you decrease the contrast you can manage the colors much better. The colors don't lose their quality that's why I decreased the contrast and I try to manipulate highlights, shadows, whites and blacks manually. As you can see I made them all lighter so the image is not as dark anymore I increased vibrance and also added some dehaze and now uh, so we are done here we're gonna go to HSL adjustments and we're gonna go here so as you can see yeah HSL adjustments. so this is actually basically hue saturation and luminance and what we can do here we can adjust the hue of every single color how cool is that so we can adjust the hue of reds so for example we can make the reds more orange or more pink um, we can make the blues more green or more violet so we can just change the colors and this is really awesome again you can just go here and copy the final numbers that I have here in order to have the same colors that I have in my artwork and if you go back and see there's actually a big difference now between before and after so if I click OK as you can see this is the image before as you can see it's a little bit dark and it's also blue but what I did now is it's brighter and it goes many different colors that's exactly what we need and here I have this layer but you don't need to pay attention to it it's uh, we're not gonna use it it's useless basically so let's just continue so what we need to do now we actually need to go and select this um, I don't know what this is called screen mirror whatever this is so we're just gonna go and we're gonna select our quick selection to this one here make sure you have plus here selected and also sample layers is checked and then we can just go and think think so we just click click as you can see I'm just clicking here in order to select the mirror so I make my brush a little bit smaller and uh, then I just continue selecting it's a little bit difficult to select it because the borders are very chaotic and now as you can see I'm using minus tool in order to deselect this arm because we don't actually need it inside our selection so as you can see I'm getting rid of her and now what we actually need to do is we need to create a copy of this layer with this mask here and now I'm gonna create a duplicate of this layer and for that you can just click right button here and then go to duplicate and just click OK or you can also hold ALT or OPTION so you hold ALT or OPTION and then you click on your layer and you drag it up or down in order to create a copy Boom! and now we have two layers, two images and now what we do, we have this selection here so we just select this image and then we go and we click create mask and then we create a mask only with this part of the image as you can see we have the mask created boom so what we want to do now you click right on that layer, right button and then you go to convert to smart object that's actually what we need to do and as you can see it's all together with the mask it's a smart object 
and then we're gonna go to filter here so we go to filter and we go to liquify so you have here liquify here or i also have it here so you just have to click once it doesn't matter you can just click this liquify okay and boom when we click it okay so there is a high chance that you haven't used this filter before but it's not that difficult to use it just helps us to stretch out things so the first thing you need to do you need to go and close this thing yeah, as you can see I click on the arrow and now what we actually want to do the thing is that because we selected the layer only with this part of the image we don't see the rest but we also want to see the rest of the image and for that reason we can actually go here which is show backdrop so we just click show backdrop as you can see now we see also what is just inside our project not only the image that we selected and also make sure you have the same parameters that I have here opacity 50% mode in front use all layers and so on and now so when we say everything we're gonna use this tool here which helps us to stretch out things just when you click it make sure you have pressure 100% density 100% and now look what's gonna happen if I just click and drag boom I'm just gonna stretch out the image how cool is that and like this we can actually as you can see so I went back so I'm just experimenting here as you can see I can just click and drag how cool is that and this is actually actually how we're gonna create all of our stretches that were originally in our artwork so for example all of these stretches are creating using that exact technique so i'm just gonna speed up this part probably so as you can see i also go back quite often because i changed my mind so in order to go back you can just click ctrl z just like always ctrl or command z so and then you just start all over again and now go back to this part here so i want to increase the opacity so i can actually see the image as well so i want actually to connect them so i can see both of them and also for that as you can see i can go to mode and make it behind and then i can actually increase the opacity to 100 and then i can see fully how it's going to look how cool is that so as you can see it already looks pretty awesome and all we need to do right now is just to create a few more stretches so yeah just like this so you just go and you experiment just click drag click drag click drag so now it depends on you i'm just gonna speed up this process again And now when we are done we can just go and click OK. Boom. And um, that's basically it with this artwork. As you can see it wasn't that difficult but it was also pretty interesting. I also added some other stuff for example I changed the color and oops where is it so I changed the color a little bit and also added some kind of pattern here and you can do that as well for example as you can see where is it? as you can see I have an image here and then I just have the same mask that we created for this part here I just have it there so it, I can just actually add pattern here and I can use different blending modes more overlay multiple and so on in order to blend my pattern with this thing here so it's just up to you for experimentation but what I also did here is I actually changed uh, um, the color of her eyes I mean I made them just white bright so if you look here it's just white and it's very very bright it's a very small detail for that we just need to take brush tool and we just need to take white color just simple white color and just draw with white color in the eye like this it's pretty easy to do and of course you have to make all of this on a newly created layer and then what you do you go to this layer you click right and then you go to convert to smart object and now we actually want to click on this layer twice so you just go here somewhere to empty space and just click ding ding twice in order to open layer styles panel and here we're actually gonna go and use outer glow effect this effect will help us to actually make the eye glow as you can see so we just need to change blending mode to normal and we also need to make opacity 100% play it with softness you can see we have here this pink color because we have pink selected here we also need to change the color to white boom and here as you can see when i have this kind of parameters softer spread like this size like this and so on it already looks pretty shiny and it's pretty cool we just click ok one more thing i want to show you is that for example let's say you want to change the color of this mirror here you want to experiment with it right so you have to select this layer and then you can go here and uh, you can go and select hue saturation because hue saturation helps us to change the colors and then for example 
you also need to click this button here. This button basically means now that this hue saturation is now going to be connected only to the layer that is located below hue saturation. And the layer located below hue saturation is actually this layer here. And you will see that when we actually close this. So for example, right now for, you can just change the hue as you can see. You can make it different colors and you can experiment with that. So it's pretty cool. So that's what I actually meant by uh, connected. So as you can see here, we have this kind of arrow. That's because when we created hue saturation, we clicked on that button, if you remember. And uh, now this hue saturation is connected only to this layer and it's not affecting anything below this. So it's not affecting the main image, it's only affecting the mirror. That's how it works. And that's all guys for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I just, the only thing that I didn't show you is actually how to create, how to make this red. But it's not that important because what we did was, was also pretty amazing and beautifully. Just like always. <laughs> With that said, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you guys in the next lesson. And uh, write down in comments what kind of tutorials you would like to see next. Like you can go to my Instagram at Fred's Gallery. Here's this one. And then you can see all of my artworks. And you can tell me, oh, I want this tutorial. Oh, I want this tutorial and so on. And I'll be happy to do it for you. So bye-bye, my little Photoshop magicians. <laughs> see you on the next lesson.